In the next few minutes, I'm going to be showing you basically five or six different bouncing techniques, and then I'm going to turn them into about 19 or 20 different variations. We're then going to do them together, and we'll be doing 30, 30 seconds each. Now, if you're wondering why we have a very strange format, the answer is simply because it will be much better for you, yep, for you to see on a mobile device. That's why, that's why we are in the frame that we are. So today's exercise, and there will be others, it's a basic skills one. We'll be using one racket and one ball. The ball doesn't matter which one you have. I recommend keeping two others in your pocket. Now we will be doing others where we will be doing edges, we will use walls and we'll use floors. But today is the simple one. So let's run through the basic ones. Now the first one of course is the simple bounce. There's going to be no problem here. The next one is going to be to do with bouncing the ball up and down like this. The next one is to do with spinning. We're going to be spinning in both directions. The next one is what I call the badminton, which is this one here. So it's boom. This is the badminton. We're going to be doing the badminton one. And then the next one we're going to be doing is what I call the tennis, which is where we have to put it over the line. So this is what we're going to be doing. And the final one is one where we have to hit it from behind our back. So I've got the timer. You will see a 30 second timer up in the top, plus a bar, plus you will hear the timer working down. So let's go. Ready? Here we go. Countdown timer. Go. All we are looking to do is bounce the ball lower than head height. We've got 30 seconds of this. Simple. Now, this whole routine is as much about concentration as it is about the physical activity. All right, so there's no problems here. This is a simple one. I'm using a red dot. You can use any color for this. 30 seconds of this. Get ready. Now we are hitting above head height. Every single one must be above head height. Not difficult, again, I know. But 30 seconds, no mistakes. Now I'll be showing you two progressions at the end, which you can do either independently or together. All right, not hard, is it? So far. All right, get ready for the next progression. Now this next progression is very low. That's it, as low as you can go. How low? Forgive the noise in the background, the trains, the people talking. Not the birds though, don't forgive the birds. Very little drops, bounces, very little bounces. The lower the bounce you can do, the better. How you doing? Oh, this is a long time. Right, get ready for the next one. This is the spin. We're going from right to left. I'm moving my racket from right to left. I'm doing it on the forehand side in effect. There we go. I'm spinning. Now, if you're using a new ball, you'll be able to see the pattern. And in fact, I'm going to put another ball in my hand just in case I drop it. The more spin you can get, the better. Get ready. We're now going to spin the other way. Now this is in some ways harder because this is essentially topspin and squash players generally don't use topspin. We might use it on the front forehand in a drop shot situation. Alright, how are you doing? 30 seconds of this, not too hard. Now we're going to switch over to the backhand version of this. Get ready to switch switch there we go so this is significantly harder not even in camera look how much harder this is all right I have to admit I haven't practiced this there we go this is much harder hopefully it's still in camera all right, get ready. Now one, two, one, two. So this is the twist. 
just doing one, two, just twisting. Want to make it harder? Don't hit it as high. We hit lots of little shots. Very simple. Remember, it's every other shot. I'm trying to look at the camera, but I can't look at the camera and look at the ball. Now, here, we're just going one side to the other. No intermediate shot anymore. One side to the other. So this is just a twist. Follow along. Don't get the ball too close to you. Keep it a bit further away if you can. We're going to be moving over to the badminton in a moment. Get ready. So one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. I know the ball's out of view at the moment, but that's okay. Two, one, two. I'm tr should be making contact much higher with the ball. Here we go. Now this is badminton again, but we are doing just one. I actually think it's easier doing just one. Don't know why. Now my wrist is feeling quite tired from doing this. Get ready, we're going into the tennis now. Arm out. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one. That's it. Now of course I'm trying not to move my hand, but the reality is I probably am. There we go, I moved it there. Get somebody else's arm to do it if you wanted to. No, nope, and I've lost another one. Now of course. Alright, now this time we're just doing one shot. One, two. The angle of the racket head is what decides where the ball goes. Oh, I moved it there. Oh, and again. All right, now in a minute, we're going to go onto the tennis, but you've noticed that I've been doing forehands. Now I'm going to be doing backhands. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Oh, missed that one. I am definitely struggling today. Got so many people looking at me from the windows. Oh, look at this, I'm suffering. Right. Yep. Now I haven't played for a year. If you've been playing regularly, you might find these much easier. Right now, alternate. Oh. Alright, so remember, I'm not supposed to be moving my arm, but I am, because I'm rubbish. And you're probably a lot better. Now my wrist is killing me. It really is. My grip is really hurting. It's a lot of shots to be bouncing. Whipper, whipper. All right, now, here we go. I've seen this one before. This is around the clock. So it's one, one, two, one, two, one, two. Didn't introduce this when I did the introduction. Naughty boy. Now I'm going clockwise. I'm doing every other one clockwise. Alright. Now, every one. Yeah, it's tough. Every one. Already. All right, now this time one, two, counterclockwise. One, two. 
to counterclockwise. I hope you're still with me. Now, every one of course. Now of course, oh! Sorry about that. Okay, three balls. So counterclockwise, every one. Right now, this is backhand. Doing this backhand is almost impossible. All right, on to the next one. This is, here we go. So we're, here we are. We're getting it to the corner and then we're hitting behind us getting it into the corner, hitting behind us. Let me turn around a little bit so you can see that from here. So, it's obviously four o'clock. So I'm getting it into position. Now this one is simply, I'm trying to do one. Oh, my hand is killing me. Do every other one her bar all over the oh my gosh all right yeah here we go it's too much my hand is just too tired all right here we go we finished uh if you want to make this harder number one don't move your feet don't move your feet number two if you make a mistake go back to the beginning that's it. There will be others in a few days, more of these. Thank you for watching. On the screen now is a subscription button. If you think my videos are useful, please consider subscribing. And there's also a link to all of the other uh, basic skills bounce sets. So if you want to watch those, watch those. Go! Remember, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya!